バイリングルになりたかったらね、この動画を最後まで聞いてください。So let's say you have your dream, you know what it is, and you're in a reality that isn't your dream, right? So for example, you want to be fluent English, that's your dream, and then you're here in this reality where you don't speak English. What do you do? Well, Uh, I can make this really simple, and it's kind of like using big domino theory,、uh, which has been a great theory that says basically you have to take the action, the number one action, every single day to achieve your dream. Like you have to determine which action to take will get you more results faster than all the other actions, right? So let's say you want to speak English, right? And you have like two choices because you've got this book from the school. That they gave you, and you're like, okay, cool, I got a book. And then let's just say you're on the train and you see, like,、uh, I don't know, like 20 English speakers right in front of you. And you're holding this book and you see the 20 English speakers right in front of you. What's going to be the fastest way to speak English? Yeah, that's what I thought. You actually. Speak English because your dream is to speak English, not hold a book, right? So I always find it weird when I see Japanese people who want to speak English, but they spend most of the time with a book or they spend most of the time with a teacher. Like, my goal was not to be with a teacher, my goal was to speak Japanese with Japanese people. So I'd go around town, ride my little c h a r i n k o and like talk to people、uh, at the k o m b i n i Or my、uh, host grandpa, or my host family. Maybe I'd see another、uh, kid from school. It doesn't matter. I was speaking Japanese all day because my goal was to speak Japanese. In fact, I hated studying you know, with a book, but you know, when everybody else is studying and you're in school, you might as well just study a little bit. So you know, I gave some. Focus to studying kanji. I studied kanji mostly in math class because math class was like unbelievably hard for me. And my goal was to come to Japan to learn Japanese, not study math. So I sat in math and I was like, fuck it. I, I'm just going to focus on kanji. I got to be here anyway. I have no interest in math. And even if I get like a bad grade in the math class, I don't care. I literally don't care. So I studied. Kanji, right? Because again, big domino theory says you do the actions that get you to where you want to be faster.、Um, you have to determine which actions are those most important actions. And between studying math or studying Japanese, I, study, I chose to study Japanese, right? But in the same way, we always got to make these decisions because we always have these like, Well, maybe if I do this, that would give me progress, right? You have to like de determine because you've never been there. You've never been successful in this, so you want to know what to do because you've never done it, right? So, whose advice do I listen to? What do I do? It's a long story and it's complicated. And I'm here to tell you that it doesn't take 10 years and it doesn't take six years even. It doesn't even take three. It took me 10 months to learn how to speak another language. And if you do what I say, you'd get there a lot quicker, right? But anyway, This is now a matter of like you making decisions. And which decisions are we making? Well, how do I achieve my dreams faster? How do I achieve my dreams sooner? Because the sooner you get there, the sooner you're gonna be happy, right? And I'll just say it like, my dream is kind of like to be a YouTuber. Oh, that's right. I am a YouTuber. So that means I gotta make videos. Now, for me, my problem isn't just like making a video and talking to you. I know you're listening, and that's great, and I appreciate you because you're always listening, right? But, you know, like my mind wants to like get to every Japanese person's mind, and I want them to listen to what I'm saying because, again, if you wanna speak English, I got like a few solutions because I know what it takes to learn a second language. I've been there, I've done that, obviously. Have you seen any of it? Have you seen any of my other videos? Right? I speak Japanese because I put in the time, I put in the effort, and I think that more Japanese people could be speaking English. If they just studied the correct thing, if they did the right thing. And so the big domino theory comes in and says, all right, so what do you want? What's your big dream? Now, if your dream is just to speak English, then it might not be enough in the dream because a lot of people will be like, yeah, I want to like become this businessman and get, live in London, for example. 
And so that's why I'm studying English. So it's like, okay, so you got to take like your dream and then dream even bigger because just speaking English, that's not big enough, right? And so for me, just to be a YouTuber isn't big enough, right? Like even if I connect with you and you're listening and I appreciate it, I have dreams of connecting with millions. So my daily problem and conundrum is basically what video do I make that can reach as many people as possible? Now, there's a lot of ideas out there and there's a lot of people reaching millions of people, right? So there's plenty of choices, but what am I gonna do, right? Now, I don't wanna just copy people even though, ironically, that's probably the quickest way to like get up there in the algorithm, right? Just copy what everybody else is doing, right? But there's this sort of like arrogant little ego that I have that wants to be somewhat original, okay? And also, I want to be making stuff that's like actually valuable to you guys. And so, I came up with a compromise with uh, the, uh, the famous people's English. I think that is a great way to teach the system that I want to teach using popular subjects, right? So it makes sense. It's just hard to kind of like find the right person, you know what I mean? Because sometimes the, the, the video goes really well, sometimes the video doesn't do well at all. Even though I made a great and awesome video, people just don't see it. And my goal is to reach millions of people. So I always got to be mindful what kind of videos I make. But I also want to give value to everybody. And some people might get more value out of these videos right here than other people, but that's okay because I want to give the most value that I could possibly give you compared to everybody else on YouTube, right? And so if you just see another lesson, you've seen it before, right? There's like a thousand, thousands of lessons that explain like grammar or slang or something like that. But one of the things that I've always noticed is that there's this like educational English that gets used a lot, right? So the teachers are talking really slow or they're pronunciating everything correctly. And there's kind of like this like fake English that I notice a lot because uh, <laughs> if you speak English, you notice the difference between kind of like a real natural English versus kind of like a stiff and formal English, right? And so, my goal making like this video right here is to give you the most natural English possible that isn't really too over the top with the uh, <laughs> personality, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm using a bigger voice than I normally talk. I'm trying not to mumble too, because you don't want to listen to people mumbling, right? You want to give some sort of like energetic and lively presentation when you're having a conversation with somebody, right? Imagine if I was at a cafe right now and we're having a conversation. Is it this exciting? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so my goal in making this video is to give you pure, natural sounding English. And I know I'm kind of hamming it up a little bit, but like, I think that's cool because you get to hear that natural English. Like I said, there's like that stiff, formal English that you guys hear too much of, right? So I'm trying to give you like the pure stuff right now. And so hopefully for the few of you that are listening, I hope that like you're actually listening to what I'm saying. And then I hope that you actually take the time to mimic what I'm saying, okay? And if you want to learn more, please come to my webinar that's uh, going to be this Saturday, uh, this Sunday at 11 o'clock, so uh, 11 in the morning. So check out my three-step system and I'll teach you how to sound more like an American, if you know what I mean. But yeah, what's your dream? And if your dream is to speak English, then you literally got to take the action that will get you speaking English today, which would be, ironically, having a conversation with somebody. That's right. You're not speaking English right now if you listen to this. So this is important that you listen to what I'm saying because you got input. You got to like listen to the actual ingredients of this invisible language that we're speaking here, right? It's sound. So you got to listen, right? But after you listen, you got to speak. And like you could talk by yourself like I'm doing now, but it isn't really a conversation, is it? It's kind of, but not. I mean, it's a monologue, but we should be doing a dialogue, right? So you can listen to this video like, yay, I'm achieving my goal of speaking English, right? Well, no, you gotta speak English. That's how you speak English. So the best way to speak English is to, well, one, look in the mirror and speak English, or two, have a conversation with somebody. So your goal should be to have a conversation with somebody every single day. Is that too much? 
I don't know because like when I learned Japanese, I had a conversation every single hour. You know what I mean? And I guess it really comes down to how bad do you want your dream to come true? In the same way, I want to be a big, massive YouTuber, right? So what do I got to do? I got to make videos, right? Now, again, I have to make choices of like, is this video really going to be good? And I would love it if this video got like a million people to watch it, right? It's not going to happen this month, maybe. But then again, who knows? Maybe the algorithm will unlock it and it does hit a million people. I'm not sure. I don't know. But in the meantime, I just have to make a video every single day. It's as simple as that. And we all know how tiring it can be to like get into the hamster wheel of doing things and not seeing the benefit or the return. You know, it's like the gym and you like do all these exercises for three weeks and you still look skinny or you still look fat and you're like, there's nothing changing, right? The same thing with making videos. I had to put up a lot of videos and just like nothing happened. And I'd be like, why isn't anything happening? And then Finally, after weeks of doing it and months of doing it, I started to see patterns and stuff like that. So it's like, oh, cool, I get it. But one way or the other, I gotta make a video, not just to reach the million people, that's kind of like for me, right? But at the end of the day, I did this for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And then if you have any comments or anything about like achieving your dreams, go down to the comment section and uh, type them out. Of course, if you type it out in English, I'll be more likely to see it. And if you type it out in English and I'll see it, I will be most likely to respond to it. So if you do have any questions, please just ask. And yeah, let's talk about achieving our dreams, right? And if you don't want to achieve your dreams, like in terms of like speaking English, well, what is your dream? Tell me about that. That'd be cool to kind of see a little different story because, you know, it does kind of get tiring to say the same thing over and over and over again. That the repetition is super important when we do this but once you have your dream then you do it then you repeat it guru 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 step and you just keep doing it every single day so again i hope that you guys are out there having those conversations if you really want to speak like english and you want to speak english like a native person you got to get out there and you got to have conversations right and so it's like this isn't a phone call hey man hiroshi how you doing but you can go down here and leave a comment and i will uh, converse with you, I guess, but it's again, not like that kind of converse. You need to like actually go out and talk to people with a, in a conversation. So anywho, take it easy. Have a good one. I'll hopefully upload another video tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be the English one or maybe like the famous person one, but that is me chasing my dream. So hopefully you will be chasing your dreams today as well. Take it easy. Peace.